Find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of this equation at the point negative pi over 4 comma 1. So to find the equation of the tangent line, we need two things. We need the slope of the tangent line, and we need the point. We already have the point, we just need the slope. The slope of the tangent line is the derivative. So we'll start this problem by taking the derivative of both sides of this equation with respect to x. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. Take this derivative here, we're going to use the product rule. We, th we can think of x as being our fir first function, so f, and arctan y as being our second function, so g. And the way I do the product rule is as follows. f is the first function, so it's the derivative of the first, times g, which is the second, plus the first, times the derivative of the second. So here, the derivative of f, which is x, is just 1, times the second, arctan y, plus the first, so x, times the derivative of arctan y. The derivative of arctan y is 1 over 1 plus y squared times the derivative of the inside function. y is your inside function. Its derivative is simply dy dx. And this is equal to the derivative of y here is just dy dx. And that's it. Okay, So the derivative of 1 is 0. So everything looks okay. So now you could solve for dy dx, but it's actually easier if you plug in numbers. So here x is negative pi over 4, and y is equal to 1. So we'll do that, then solve for dy dx. So at x equals negative pi over 4, and y equals 1, we have the following. So 2 times negative pi over 4, that's our x plus 1 times arctan of y. So that will be arctan of 1 plus, and then x is negative pi over 4, so we have that. I'm going to go ahead and put it in parentheses, times 1 over 1 plus 1 squared, because y is 1, dy dx equals dy dx be really careful uh, in this problem. It's really messy. 2 times negative pi over 4 is negative pi over 2. The arctan of 1 is pi over 4, so have that memorized. This here, this is 1 half, so it's 1 half times negative pi over 4, so it's minus pi over 8, right, because 4 times 2 is 8, times dy dx equals dy dx. Let's see what happens here. We can combine these, right? You can think of negative pi over 2 uh, as being negative 2 pi over 4. So negative 2 pi over 4 plus pi over 4 is negative pi over 4 minus pi over 8 dy dx, and that's equal to dy dx. Okay, we have to solve for dy dx, but things are starting to look um, kind of messy here. So maybe we can get rid of the fractions. So let's multiply both sides uh, by 8. So we'll put an 8 here, parentheses, parentheses, put an 8 here. So 8 times negative pi over 4, it's going to be negative 2 pi. Then 8 times this, these will cancel, so this is negative pi dy dx. And that's equal to 8 dy dx. All right, getting there, getting there. So let's see. Um, now we can add pi dy dx to the other side, right? So we end up with 8 dy dx plus pi dy dx, and that's equal to negative 2 pi. Then we can factor out the dy dx. So dy dx, this is 8 plus pi equals negative 2 pi. And to finish, we divide by 8 plus pi. So we have dy dx equals negative 2 pi over 8 plus pi. And that is the slope of the tangent line. That's going to be our m, right? Our point here was negative pi over 4, comma 1. This is going to be our x1 and our y1 when we use our super awesome formula, which is y minus y1 equals m 
times x minus x1. This is called the uh, point slope formula, right? Because you've got a point and a slope. Now you just plug everything in. And again, we still have to be really careful. It's really easy to mess up. Uh, so y1 is 1. m is this beast over here, negative 2 pi. What a slope. <laughs> 8 plus pi. Uh, x minus uh, negative pi over 4. So it should become a plus pi over 4. Okay. And now let's go ahead and solve for y. So we have y minus 1 equals, let's distribute this carefully. So this times x is just simply that. So negative 2 pi, 8 plus pi times x. So nothing can happen there. Now I have to be really careful here in this next step. So we're multiplying this times this. Um, so the 2 and the 4, that's going to give us a negative 1 half up front. And then pi times pi is pi squared. Be really careful there. I've, I feel like I've messed up here before or something. 8 plus pi. All right, so... Pi times pi is pi squared. Uh, and that's it. We just have to add the 1 now. So y equals negative 2 pi over 8 plus pi times x minus 1 half times pi squared uh, 8 plus pi uh, plus 1, right? Plus 1. Let me just look it over. Everything looks okay. It's just so crazy looking. Uh, that's it.